hello, hello, and welcome all. Thank you for joining us. Scenes from a Hat, season 10 here at Town Square Television. I am your host, Jay Sterling, and if you're all ready to laugh things up, we'll get things going. Let us uh, begin with the introduction of the players. In chair number one, we have Miss M.A. Dorfler. In chair number two, Hot Rod Matsko. Chair number three, John Bickford. And the power man in chair number four, Benjamin Manthe. Thank you for joining us, and we're going to cut straight to the chase and draw from the hat, like we always do. Oh, our first game is one of M.A.'s favorite games, Let's Make a Date. So, in this game, Miss M.A. steps out of the room, and we all say bye-bye, bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. And while she is away, I'm going to give three particular quirks to uh, the gents as they set up the chairs, three for themselves, and they will line themselves up in chair order. So Rod will be in the first chair, John is in the second, and then Ben is in the third. And the chair separate furthest away will be Miss M.A. Gentlemen, if you would kindly step this way. Uh, this is for Rod. This is for Benji. And this is for John. Now, they have never seen these quirks before, and they have two rounds of questioning. Miss M.A. is going to give them uh, two questions, one question a round, and in that time, they have to give her enough hints to know how she's going to end her lonely, loving existence without either of you three gentlemen. So, if you're ready, we'll bring in Miss M.A. Kind of neat when they apply just when you walk in, isn't it? I know, it's great. Makes you very self-conscious. Yeah. <laughs> All right, as uh, everyone knows how to play the game, Miss M.A., you have two rounds of questioning to find the love of your life. Maybe make up for John and party quirks when he didn't get picked earlier. <laughs> so, <laughs> when, uh, whenever you're ready, well, let's make a date. Okay, like contestant number one, that has Bachelor number one. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, do you play any type of instrument with a potty part other than your mouth? <laughs> uh, no comment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there is uh, a flute. There, it is pink. It's oh called a recorder. Gosh. I don't know where your mind is going. Okay, um, bachelor number two. Um, you know, most women like roses, but I prefer um, steak. So where would you take me for dinner? Well, first, I need you to bend and stretch and bend. And then I need you to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, bachelor number three. Um, when, when you're tired, um, where do you like to go to the outside? Like, okay, first of all, <clears throat> why would you ask that question? I, mean, I, I don't get what we're doing here. I mean, come on. Like, wh wh why the lights? Why, why, why are we sitting here? This is pointless. <laughs> You're like really negative. Okay, number number one, let's go back to Bachelor number one, because I, I think you're probably the cutest. Um, so, uh, Hickory Dickory Dock, do you like mice? Um, 
I like to take them out in my traps and take care of them with my Dalek company. I like to just get rid of them. Your, your what? My company is Dalek. Oh, right. okay, all right. Um, bachelor number two. Um, do you like ever sit still? <laughs> no, sitting still is, is for the devil. Uh, I'm, just so you know, all my stuff is now on VHS. Okay. Um, um. And uh, it's called Abs of Meal. <laughs> it's all about eating. Okay. What? I'm the after. <clears throat> okay. Um, bachelor number three. Yeah. Um, w would you ever go into a submarine? Okay, 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 look, look I, I don't understand, okay, look, why are we showing up here at nine in the morning? I just, it's, I, I, what's the payoff? I don't get it, I mean, so I'm supposed to come in here and like, clap, <laughs> like, like I'm a seal or something. <laughs> And what you're gonna throw me an anchovy, and then and then and then suddenly suddenly I'm going to laugh at something. I, why why are we bothering? I mean, come on, the sun's gonna go supernova in four billion years anyway. <laughs> okay, and they with yeah. that kind of ammunition, how could you tear yourself away from all three? I, like I don't know. Okay, you got a guess on any of them? I, I do. All right, how about bachelor number one? Um, bachelor number one is an exterminator. Ah. Well done. And uh, Mr. Bickford, number two. Um, he is a um, TikTok fitness instructor. With VHS, no, but close enough. Yeah, fitness. Well, I can subscribe. <laughs> right, right, right. And um, Benji. Benji is a, a really irritable audience member for Scenes from a Half. Close yeah. enough. <laughs> he was more confused than anything. And while they're going back to their prospective perches, I'll pull out the next one. And I'll wait until John sits down. Okay, the next game is for John Bickford. <laughs> and uh, M.A. Dorfler, come on out. <laughs> All right. And this is our online married couple, and uh, I can see they're back to back right now. This is just going to be so much fun. They love each other dearly. I need a scene from the audience. Making out in the library. Really? Okay, how about you're just in the library? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me make a note. All right, and you're. It's complicated. You're, they're married, unmarried, yeah. Yeah, but apparently in the last, the last show, you got divorced. Yeah. So, uh, you're playing change, changing lines. Okay. You're gonna play changing lines. So, uh, throughout various times, I will, of course, say change, and uh, we'll see how effervescent you can be in a library. John, why don't you start us off changing lines? Uh, so, that book uh, has been banned. Change. Uh, so, that book is super thick. Change. Uh, so that book contains the words that summon a demon. It's a library for Christ's sake. I know, but this is a, this is a <laughs> demon. <laughs> okay, no demons in the library. They're Change. Too no large books in the library. Change. No book of shadows in the library. Well, okay, I'll just put that back in my backpack. And, and uh, do you have any recommendations? I mean, I showed you mine, you know, you show me yours. <laughs> well, I, I have this lovely self-help book. Change. I, I have this book on cooking. Change. I have this book on uh, disestablishmentarianism. Change. <laughs> I, I have this book on um, worms. Ew, it's just full of dirt. <laughs> it's just full, full of dirt. Yeah. Worms. Yeah, but it's just dirt, there's no worms. What? 
Remy! <laughs> Took all the worms again. This Remy likes the worms? Change. Yeah. This Remy, he eats the worms? Change. This Remy, he drinks the worms? <laughs> Change. This Remy you speak of, uh, is he a worm? Kind of. <laughs> in, 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 in a manner of speaking, yeah. 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 Well, uh, he may have he, lured he, them away with his worm call. He's, he, well, no, he's just slimy. Change. He's just um, uh, on his head. Change. <laughs> he's just competing in a karate tournament. <laughs> well. I've never seen a worm do karate before, but I would really like to see that. I mean, that would be amazing. Like, Yeah, because they don't have hands or legs. Yeah, <laughs> but if they get cut in half, they just grow new ones. Does that mean he can fight himself? Yeah, we'll cut Remy in half. Change. We'll cut Remy loose. <laughs> Change. We'll send Remy to a dark hole where nobody will ever find him. And scene, and scene, thank you. <laughs> because, because we all know that uh, that dark hole, if you've been watching the online show, is going to be John's freezer itself. <laughs> so, all right, our next game for this episode is, ah, I've never seen this card intact before. <laughs> Two-line vocabulary. This is for Benji, M.A., and Rod. Yeah. All right. So we're going we're gonna to let Ben be the helm again. <laughs> so get in the middle, Ben. And Miss M.A. and Rod have two lines with which to speak, one statement and one question. And soliciting from our lovely studio audience, I need a statement for Miss M.A. The windows are clean. Excellent. M A S. Windows are clean. And a question for her. Why should I care? You know, that that that's very good. That's very good. Uh, for Rod, a statement, please. Say that again. Okay, say that again. Say that again. And his question is. How fast did you drive? How fast can you? <laughs> I've ridden with Rod pretty fast. Uh, and what is the scene, my dear folks? Taco Bell. Wow, talk about so whether you're in a drive through you work there, or customers, however you want to play this, Ben. Okay. <laughs> Knowing Ben, he's going to try to shoot for all three. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, you know what? I'll just let you take off whenever you're ready, Ben, with uh, two-line vocabulary. All right, look, I want to call you together here because we've got a very special burrito we're going to be putting together for Easter. Say that again? Uh, we've, we've got a very special burrito we're putting together for Easter. It's, it's, got, it's got all kinds of great ingredients, and why are you looking at me like that? I don't, what? Why should I care? <laughs> because we're a restaurant, we have to make money. Okay, look, look here. Okay, so look now. How fast do you drive? Well, it depends on the situation. Why? I just, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying to, I'm just, I, if I was delivering burritos through, for Uber, yeah, I mean, right, like 90, 80, 70, whatever it took. But that, that's, none of that's important now. Okay, now look, for this, for this burrito, we're, we're going to really try and get into the, to the spirit of, 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 uh, what, what are you doing? I don't get, which. The windows are clean. Yeah, yeah, I know, they've been clean for a month. What, you just, we're, we're trying to, uh, what, uh, we, we, we've got to make, I'm trying to train you on how to make this burrito. It's got like ham and deviled eggs and Say like- Say that again? It's got ham and deviled eggs in it. It's a, it's a, it's a burrito for Easter. You know, it's got like freaking jello with fruit in the middle of it. Why you know? Right here? Because it's Easter. <laughs> We're trying to deliver the spirit of Easter to the customers and, and trying to drum up business at the same time. And wow, how fast can you drive? Um, did your appendix just break? I mean, I see that again. Be, did your appendix just break? Are you, do you How need, fast can you drive? <laughs> if I have to drive any faster, I'll let you know. But it, are, are, are you, it looks like you're going, dude. Dude, why, seriously. Why, why should I care? Because, Say that again. Why should I care? Because, How fast can you drive? Uh, look, I agree. Let's get out of here. I mean, just come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and see, they just drove away. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I, I find that that game always works best if you don't give Ben a, a chance to complete a full sentence. <laughs> yeah, but, but, yeah, but, 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 because! <sighs> I love my job. All right, what's next? Ah, Hot Rod and Benji, back up, please. For example, again? switching roles. <laughs> switching roles. Why should I care? <laughs> All right, I need a seed for uh, Rod and Ben. On the beach. They're on the beach. Okay. So, uh, one of you is a swimmer, and the other one is the lifeguard. You're playing switching roles. Okay. Switching roles. All right. Um, yeah, I see you actually stood up pretty straight there, Rod, so I think you, you're going to start off as the lifeguard. All right. You know, very buff and tanned and all that hot stuff. I'm, I'm hip with that. You hip with that? Say it again. All right. <laughs> Switching roles. Hot Rod, whenever you're ready. <laughs> Take us off. So uh, the last time you were here, uh, you were having some issues, so we're going to need to put some a lot of water wings on you. Ah. Uh. Are you serious, dude? Why? I don't. I don't understand. It's just that I was. I'm such a great swimmer. Well, you were doing the breaststroke completely the wrong. The ladies were offended. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, well, I just got out of the joint, so and, you know. And, and I, I swear, I'm not. I, you, you do this again, I'm not going to perform mouth to mouth for the fiftieth time. Chicken. <laughs> Switch. Look, I'm not going to perform mouth-to-mouth -mouth for the 50th time, especially after you have that damn lobster roll. Will 50 bucks take care of that? Oh, uh, I could be persuaded. I did use some chapstick just, just in case. Do you have a particular flavor you'd like? Surprise me. Mm. There's a lot of ways I could go with this. I could go just regular plain waxy old chapstick that sticks to your teeth when it gets cold. Or, uh, you know, you look to be like kind of a cherry flavor kind of guy, you know that? Is that a chapstick in your pocket or are you happy to see me? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Speedos had pockets. Well, they are awful small. <laughs> Is that some kind of a statement? I'll say that again. <laughs> Why should I care? <laughs> Look, all that aside, look, we've, we've got to get you to a point where you can at least swim and survive out here. Now, I know they didn't teach you to, to do much swimming in prison, and I understand, I mean, here we are, it's like, you know, Bikini Central, but you've got to control yourself somehow here, okay? But if you put the lotion on my skin, will I get through the water faster? Stop. Switch. <laughs> if you put the lotion on my skin, will I get through the water faster? Well, it depends on where I put it. Um, yeah, that happened one night in cell block C, and I'm not a fan. <laughs> well, this is don't drop the soap lotion, so it'll make you go pretty fast. Um, well, all right, I, be, I could be persuaded to give it a try. Go. <laughs> uh. Ooh. All right, swim, bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> On, on, on an on a, 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 interesting thought here, I, I, I'm surprised that the chapstick wasn't Easter burrito flavored. <laughs> <laughs> ham and deviled eggs and jello. <laughs> what kind of cheese? Cottage. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> we are not official food critics here on Scenes from a Hat. All right, what do we got? Pros and cons, pros and cons. All right, let's have Mr. John Bickford, Miss M.A., and Hot Rod come on up. Mr. Bickford, get in the middle. <laughs> Pickle in the middle. Uh, in the middle. So, just, just like when I was growing up. <laughs> <laughs> Play keep away. So, um, Mr. Bickford has a decision to make, a purchase or, or a life decision. Any suggestions from the audience, please? Casket. What is it going to, for, what is it going to get for a casket for himself? Deciding on a casket. Okay. Um, that's a selection. Okay, let's do... Casket or cremation? How about that? Will that, will that work for you? Okay. Yeah, burial. So, 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 would you say experience? Burial. Oh, burial. burial. Okay. Um, experience. <laughs> Both use caskets. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn my hearing aids up for the next show. Um, right. So we have Miss M A and Miss Rod. One of them has to be for burial, and one of them has to be against burial. So, do we give M A for or against? Whichever one she gets, yeah. Rod gets yes. the other. Against? Yeah. All right, M.A., you are against burial, and Rod, you're for burial. 
And John, you may begin pondering your question. And when you're ready to uh, make your decision, you go ahead and walk off with other with, with whomever. Pros and cons. Uh, so yeah, my time is very limited. I don't have a lot of time to to choose uh, whether or not I want to be put in the ground and buried, or should I just get burnt to a crisp? Uh, I'm not sure. So you, you do not want to be worm food, okay? That's just gross. Yeah, but, but caskets, they're environmentally friendly. And, you know, everybody needs jobs right now. So, and you can pick the wood that you like. Yeah, I do like picking wood. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. But no, the worm, no. I mean, I know, I know some worms, and they're very nice. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but you don't want them eating you. That's disgusting. Uh, but you're going to be dead. It's not a big deal. But when I look, when I rise okay. up... You, you do not want all of your friends and family gathered around a hole in the ground. But you're gonna get that great. You're gonna get that great makeup from the scenes from a Hat Girl, and you're gonna look. You're gonna look amazing in your casket. People are gonna remember you how beautiful you are. Those oh. never look natural. Come on. <laughs> and they'll. And and, and 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 you can even tell them. Don't sew my lips shut. I'll, I'll, I will never speak to, about the mob again. <laughs> You'll be safe. Are they gonna put the the dimes on my eyes? That's you what know I, what? It, this will come with quarters. Dude, just just oh. stick your feet in some cement and go for a walk off a of pier. With cement on my feet, how do I walk? That's. You can get a custom paint job on that casket. You look amazing going down that hole, and people will be like, "Man, I wish I was him." But then nobody's gonna see it after that. It's gonna be in the ground, and nobody's gonna see it. But it's gonna change into a spaceship once the rapture comes. <laughs> Haven't you ever wanted to go visit Doctor Who and all that? Who? Yeah, Doctor Who. He's on first. Well, I mean, I do, but I mean, I mean, it's bigger on the inside, you know. It is. Yeah, this is a Doctor Who edition. Wow. Yeah. Well, maybe guaranteed, maybe. guaranteed, a thousand years free of the Daleks. Dude, you're going to hell anyway, so you might as well just burn yourself up. <laughs> hell. Yeah, but I heard in this movie well, that these Rusty Nuts guys made, you can buy your way out of hell. Well, yeah, but uh, I mean, I'm trying to decide because I don't really have a lot of money. I mean, today only half price, just for you. <laughs> Uh, you better so, get one, get one for you. I'll throw in one for your wife, too. Are you a salesman? I mean... I, I maybe. I maybe. <laughs> I like him. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Got a couple more here. A couple more. A couple more. Ooh. I haven't tortured Ben with this game yet. <clears throat> the alphabet game. Yeah. Ben and you're going to have help with Mr. John Bitford, <laughs> the backwards man. He's the only one, um, I think, on, on our online show that's yeah. actually gone backwards in the alphabet. Yeah. Or you was you, what? Yeah, I think so. Okay, good. Yeah. Now that's talent, ladies and gentlemen. I went forwards, again. I went forwards later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. These fine gentlemen need a scene. What is their scene? What are they doing? Who are they? Where are they? Buying a car. Buying a car. Okay, you can buy it together or one can be the car salesman, however you see fit. And someone give me a number between one and 26, or just the letter is fine. 13. 13, I believe that's K. Yeah. Are you counting, Ben? Yeah. Yeah, it's M. It's M? It's M. K is 11. <laughs> Missed it by that much. <laughs> All right, the letter M. Um, right. Ben's never played this game that I can recall, so uh, I, will, I will give you stall time by explaining the game, which I'm sure you already know how to play. John's going to start with the letter M. And at the end of his sentence, I'm going to start my timer for two minutes. You have two minutes to go through the entire alphabet. M, and then you start with the next letter. I'm sure you know what it is. And then back and forth. So... Buying a car, Mr. Bickford, however you want to run and dictate the scene, I will begin the timer at the end of your sentence. Go for it. 
May I interest you in this lovely number right here? No, 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 no. That's way, way, way under my price range. I want something with style. Over your price range, that's what you want. Please. Quit before somebody else gets it. R really, I need something that's got style and flesh. I'm going to the Oscars. Style you want, that's the car for you. This car has got all the style of, of a Shriners parade. I just, I, it's not gonna do it for me. Forget it. Understand, it's used. <laughs> Very used. I mean, look at it, the things, it's got stains from the last person that rode in it. My God. What do you want from me? <laughs> Xylophones are an important option on cars. I'm going to have to entertain people in the back seat. <laughs> you can only fit one or two xylophones in there. Uh, zippiness is, a, is, a, is an important <laughs> aspect of the driving experience. I need to have that so that I can, I can really impress as I scooch down the lane and in front of the theater. What are you saying? Asshole, come on. <laughs> B bitch, <laughs> this car is for, for idiots. <laughs> come on. <laughs> you understand I've got a, I've got I've got a, a whole image in mind of my entrance and, it, and it's gonna include like fireworks and everything it's gonna be great everyone knows that you post it on Pinterest all the time for crying out loud I have to have publicity or I'll get nowhere in my career go on get out of here who the <laughs> How many cards are you over? You're already 15 <laughs> seconds over. I just wanted to see how far you can do it. All right. <laughs> hey, for your first time, that was really good. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, look, the quickies. Yay. Yay. All right. This is for all players. Line up, if you would. Get in your spots. Two there, two there. Leave the middle battlefield open until it's time to come out. All right. And let's do this here. Our first quickie is, <laughs> we're gonna run over on time. <clears throat> <laughs> Announcements made over the hell PA system. Announcements made over the hell PA system. And when you are ready, begin. <laughs> Today, for your pleasure, we're gonna be seeing scenes from a hat, all 3,000 episodes back to back. <laughs> Ooh, ow. And for your listening ple pleasure, 1,000 years of the Bay City Rollers. <laughs> and now, coming to the main stage, it's Yanni. <laughs> Soon to be arriving, Kurt Cobain. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, has anybody seen an iPhone lying around? <laughs> <laughs> Will the person with the chariot license plate G A G Y H I W please move it from the handicap spot? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to make some room. Uh, every politician is coming down now. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm gonna. You get success for that one. Dun, da, da, da. <laughs> dun, da, da, da. No, I'll save that for the next game. <laughs> it was a, it was a joker, buddy. Oh, this is right up our alley. <clears throat> Weird movie quotes to use on a date. Weird movie quotes to use on a date. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> you talking to me? I'm the only one standing here. You talking to me? <laughs> Put the lotion on the skin, you know, get the hose again. <laughs> Do I look like a clown? Do you think I'm funny? Do I look? <laughs> Luke, I'm your father. Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend! <laughs> Hoo-ah! <laughs> 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 
Get these MR, MRF and snakes off this MRF and plane. <laughs> he looks at me like, I'm going to swear. Am I okay to swear? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> I'll buzz myself out. <laughs> okay. Mowage. <laughs> High school chicks. I keep getting older, they just stay the same. <laughs> uh, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> I'll take some fava beans and a nice canteen. <laughs> I gotta I gotta do a local movie. Um, I'm kinda I'm 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 kinda busy here. <laughs> Uh-oh, uh-oh. What's a oh Ray? Fart. <laughs> <laughs> That's the show, everybody have a seat. I want to thank Town Square Television and our lovely audience. Yeah. I am Jay Sterling, I know because the mug says so. I am the host for Scenes from a Hat, but, but more importantly, I am joined by Miss M.A. Dorfler. Mr. Rod Motzko. John Bickford. And Benjamin Manthe. That's all for today's show. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. This episode is sponsored by MarsCon 2023, when books come alive. Find out how you can attend in March by visiting marscon.org forward slash 2023.